So if you're in a restroom, at least you could flush it away. You got running water. I think that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I think now I understand why the canned food was there. That's actually fairly impressive. I never ever considered once in my life hiding out in a restroom in a zombie apocalypse, but I think that's a bad idea. Plus you got toilet paper too. Can you imagine that? Yo, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dead Island Definitive Edition. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. Um, we gotta get that signal amplifier. Apparently get the helicopter of some kind to get on out of here. So I think we got to talk to Darwin Bark. Why? Because I'm seeing that white flag behind this locked up door. And I imagine that's probably where they got it. So they're either gonna give it to me, or I'm gonna have to take it by force. But uh, I'll talk to Darwin Bark here first. Well, what's up, dude? I haven't talked to you. Relax. We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers power in the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. Oh well, yeah, but they could still shred me to pieces, man. So find Marcus and fix the Transformers powering the lighthouse. That could probably give me access to this area here. So let's start that now. Yeah. All right. Good. The Transformers are in the northern part of the Gold Bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage shed. I'm Darwin, by the way. Well, who made you guardian of the, the storage shed here, Darwin? So let's see. Uh, I'm looking at my map here. Doesn't seem like it's too far from where we're at. Because we're up here. We got to go down here, Golden Bungalows, uh, choir. Oh, that's where the Kim area was at. Remember that girl with the, the crazy one? That apparently now their entire hut's been overrun. Mm. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Is, are you still having a smoky? Yeah, he's still having that smoke over here. Ned? Yo, dog. If the zombies don't kill you, it's gonna be the secondhand smoke over here. Well, not really secondhand smoke. It's firsthand smoke because he's smoking himself. But it's the compulsive... Smoking non-stop. I mean, I won't lie to you. I, I, uh, occasionally I used to dabble in the old cigarillos myself, you know. But I stopped just because, you know. I, I got like a bunch of health scares early, and I'm really paranoid about health, even though I tell you guys all the time never go to the doctor. But I'm always really paranoid about stuff like that. <laughs> so, for a while, like a couple of years ago, I was so convinced that I, um, I had cancer. Like, I got sick, like, pretty bad, like, I want to say, like, um, this was, like, six or seven years ago. Like, I got, I got really, really sick, and my my only concern, or, like, my only idea was it was cancer. And you know how I, why I thought that? Because I did the stupid thing. You know what the stupid thing is? When you get sick and you start going online, you start looking, oh! Oh, boy. The stupid thing is when you start going online and looking up, like, symptoms online. Like, you know, you get a WebMD and stuff like that, and it's kind of like, okay. I got this, I got this, I got that. What can it be? And obviously, like, most of the symptoms for, like, um, cancer and stuff like that are very common with just regular things, right? So, of course, for some reason or another, it couldn't have been, like, you know, a cold, a flu, pneumonia, something. No, I was convinced it was just cancer. I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna die soon. And ever since then, I'd like to tell you that I turned my life around, but I did not. <laughs> I still don't go to the doctor when I get sick. And that's just my story right there. Even like, you know, a couple of like weeks ago when I told you guys I was like sick for a while and everybody was like, go to the doctor, Falcon. I'm like, no, I don't want to go to the doctor. I don't like it there. They're gonna give me bad news. I'd rather not know. I'd rather not know that I'm dying. Just keep it as a surprise or something. Now this guy over here, he's gonna know he's gonna die pretty soon because I'm gonna go over here and smash his head in. <laughs> uh, he thinks he was cute. Oh, I'm gonna hang out over here and when some Falcon walks by, I'll just jump on him. Nah. Doesn't work that way, buddy. Alrighty, so we're gonna come up here. Why would the power for the lighthouse be all the way at the bungalows, by the way? Have we thought? Have we talked about this yet? It seems fairly odd to me. Get your ass down! No, no, not you either. Bring it down as well. Yeah, I see you as well. Don't you worry. I got, I got kicks. I got kicks for days, man. I got kicks for days. All right, let's pop these open, Treasure Hunter. Coming along pretty nicely. I mean, you cannot not get these um, achievements for this game because you're constantly going through stuff like I do. All right, so apparently we want to come through here now. Okay, we got red skulls now. Hey, oh, that might that must be James, I guess. Oh, relax, Walker. 
Okay. Two down, two to go. Is there like a... Look, he just froze in place! Was he expecting me to kill him or something or what? He was just kinda like, well, it's coming. I might, I might as well just brace for impact. Are there like no special like kills like you could sneak behind? It's kind of weird. Like he doesn't bash his head in or what he does is he kind of like, he hits him at the top of the head like he stuns him for some reason. Come on. Relax, dude. I need a loot. Relax. All right, we got it. Everything's looted. That's some amazing blood right there too. Look at this, it's like chromatic blood. Marcus. Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go. You you expect the common individual like myself to know how to turn on a transformer, huh? All right. Well, I mean, I gotta tell you, dude, you got a lot more faith in me than I have myself. Tiring stick. That's pretty terrible. We don't need that. And by the way, what was stopping him from fixing the transformer with the zombies in the fence? He was on the other side. You know what that tells me? It tells me that Marcus gave up. He gave up on life. He wasn't really looking out for his friends over there. Because he was kind of like, well, I can't leave even if I turned his on. So might as well just um, not fix it for my friends over there. He wasn't willing to make the sacrifice for his buddies. And that right there is a really terrible trait. Hi, how you doing? Would you go down for your buddies, Walker? Because let me tell you, you are. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh boy. Oh boy. Relax. Take a seat. Just take a seat right now. I feel like I'm Chris Hansen right now. Oh! Why don't you take a seat over there? Take a seat. Alright, relax. L let's move back. Make sure nobody's gonna get me from the backside. Start waving this crowbar. Crowbar's about to break too, which is terrible. Get out of here. Just get out of here. What the heck is this? <laughs> what did you equip? The Feeble Nail Hammer. Well, I don't see that doing any better, but sure. At least it's not about to break like the other one is. 43 buckaroos. You're just going back to what you're up to, huh? Well, Sam B's gone now. It's time to go back to do my zombie things back here. All right. Oh, boy. That was a lot of zombies quick. A lot of zombies quick and together. And we ain't even done yet. Yeah. 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 I don't know when to give up. Okay. I think the transformer is back behind that fence. Now, any ambushes here? No. Let me get an energy drink. Can you imagine the the shape of this man's heart at the moment? Like all we do are drink like energy drinks constantly. It's about to explode. Were you going to? He still somehow swung at me. It's funny because initially he was going to jump forward, even though it was behind him, and then he did like this crazy, amazing, like, roundhouse swing at me. That right there is a really determined zombie to kill you. Alright, we good now? What we got here? Garbage. Oh no, am I going underground? <laughs> Don't make me go underground, dude. Oh, we're going underground. And then we got to do this thing over here, which I love. Especially with a mouse. Ooh, hey, look at that. Oh! Oh no. Nope. Shut it down. Too much noise. Okay, I think we turned everything on over here. Now we gotta go back outside. Please, no zombies. I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. Yeah, I knew exactly what that noise was gonna do. I'm out of here. Come on, Sam B. Don't let that stamina fail you now, buddy. You've been working your entire life for this moment right here just to run like crazy. Oh, no. Okay. You know what time it is? It's time for Fury, baby. Get those swings in there. Punch him in the ground. Back the fuck off. Yeah, that's why we saved that fury up, baby. All right. These guys down. What's crazy is that they're going to chase me down the entire way. I thought you could outrun them, but nope. These guys were determined to get to me at one point or another. All right, let's tell Marcus that we got his little transformer online. Or, yeah, you are Marcus, right? Yeah, you're Marcus. All right, everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. 
I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. The world's gone fucking mad! Gave me $51 for helping him out. Kind of a really weird reward. In a zombie apocalypse, wouldn't you say? Like, you help somebody out and they're like, oh, here you go, here's some money. It's like, you know what, I think, like, money... I mean, theoretically speaking, we in the game, we use money for what? Well, we use it for upgrades, right? But in a real-world scenario, right? If somebody gave me money, I'd be like, you're, you're like a jerk, you know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure civilization is falling right now, the economy doesn't really mean anything, you're giving me money now. How about you give me some supplies, man? How about a gun? No, here's some, um, $51. Go buy yourself a video game, you nerd. It's like, oh, cool, thanks a lot. Oh! And of course, only Falcon would run into a stationary vehicle. Driving, how does it work? Get you out of the way here, alright. So with this, I believe we should have access to... You know what, this one doesn't even matter. <laughs> I already broke the window. It's fine. And luckily for me, this is a state of decay where my vehicles blow up after killing over, uh, running over a couple of Zambros, you know? So it's fine. Now with this, I was gonna say, we should have access to that st shed and maybe get that signal amplifier. Ooh, 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 turns, turns, ooh, 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 ooh baby. We hauling ass now, boys. Alrighty, let's leave her right here. Hey, um, somebody might want to fix this vehicle, you know, give me another windshield. Other than that, though, it's not that bad. Not even dented or anything. Pretty impressive vehicle. Alrighty, what's Where up? Where the hell did I put that? Where'd you put what? Oh, you want some help or something? Oh, and why'd you go find this item for me? Why don't you go find it yourself, Javier? And... Energy drink. Ooh, can we have a battery down here? It don't want to pass up anything useful. Oh, it's a battery, but not the really good one. That costs like 900 or whatever. Got some glue. Yo, I got it done, dude. Okay. Marcus said it's gonna work. Let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Looks like it worked. Come on. I'll open the storage shed for you. Appreciate it. Okay, so I got a, a savage. Oh, no, no, I want that. That looks really, really good. Um, something's gotta go. Alright, let me get that. Got it. Don't need that in the moment. Where's my amplifier? What the hell happened here? Keep the marker... Keep the marker away from face. Video games, colored shirt, activated terminal, airport security, sniffing Percocet, <laughs> Martian zombies. Who the hell was in here before me? Well, we got what we needed. Steel rod. And this will be for upgrades, wire, and that's about it. All right. So with the amplifier now, who needed this? It was for... Yeah, talk to Sinamoy. So we can now bring the amplifier over to Sinamoy. Thanks. There we go. Ooh. Again with the money reward. Nah, man, give me some mods. Give me some good weapons. Alright, so we have a level. Let's see what we need to do now here. Um, last time we got the HP one, which is fairly good, especially when we're running around. And... Uh, Fury. Do you want to go back to Fury? Blood weapons, durability, stamina cost. You know what? I think we should start working on stamina. I'm noticing a lot right now that we run out of stamina. We're in the, in the middle of fighting like three zombies and it can be really t troublesome. And I believe that... Yeah. If we can swing our weapons without getting tired so often, it'll probably help out quite a bit, right? So, stamina it is. Choose. Go for it. Alright. Talk to Cinemoy now. Cool. Alright, Cinemoy. I think I've helped people here. Don't know what we would have done without you, mate. You got a moment to talk. Of course I do. New quest, a piece of cake. I got the radio going, but I'm not hearing anything. Either this guy is farther away than I thought, or the monsoon's messing with the transmission. This may take a while, but don't worry. I have something for you to do in the meantime. We're running very low on food and water. 
Think you can find some. Search the hotel's poolside bars for cans of food. It's really decent experience. Only difficulty one, which is kind of really weird, but okay. I'm up for it. Okay, then. Don't bother with the hotel. With the power out, it's way too dangerous in there. Check the bars by the swimming pools. Bring everything you can find. Anything at all. Okay? In the meantime, I'll keep trying to reach this guy. Search the bar for cans of food. Bring three cans of food to Cinemoy. Alrighty. Well, I looked at the map here. Got an idea. Do we got time for this video for this? Kind of? Kind of. At least we'll try to start getting this somewhat done. Hopefully I have enough time to complete it right now. So... I'm thinking we just leg it. And if we go down this way... Yeah, we could go up through here. Rescue hub. Yeah. So I think this should take us to like all the bar areas by the hotel. I think. <laughs> that would have been nice if we had like a quest marker for it, but I imagine that's where you'll probably find him. Hello. Yeah, I know you're waking up to you. I saw. I know. I know you were there. Don't you worry. Not gonna spook me this time. I was too busy with your girl, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's terrible. That's that's sad. They're dead people. You shouldn't make jokes like that, fam. Not to mention she's a zombie. I mean, come on, dude. Have a little bit of self-respect. All right. So these are the little bar areas. Let's find out if we get lucky over through here. Nice little bushy area. Oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. Alright. Is that one right there? Oh, that's right, we got the stamina thing just now, right? Let's swing more often. Might break the weapons and everything, but... Is there a particular reason why you're so angry, dude? Like, that guy was, like, really, really angry. Alright, let's see here. Energy drink. Oh, canned food! Alright, that's one, right? That is one? It doesn't look like very special, but it says canned food, and that's what the quest said. All right, so we got maybe like one already. Good. Alcohol, we can use it for some Molotovs later. So one of these huts is done. Let's see here. Um, got another one down here. And maybe something down here, so... Technically speaking, we should just have to walk down through here. And there it is. Okay, I see the bar. Oh, I got some quest markers over there, too. Suddenly. And a lot of angry zombies here together. Okay, swing for the fence, swing for the fence, that's fine. We got plenty of energy stuff around. Oh! <laughs> that's how you do it. Fuck you! How you doing, buddy? Just broke your leg! And I kicked your body away, too. No respect at all. Alright, zombies over there. But I got some hands over here. Which might mean... This could be it. What are you doing? Just stay down. See, all you guys gotta do is just pretend like you're dead as I walk by. And you could be continue being living zombies. But nah. They ain't down with that. Empty. Battery. Treasure hunter, yeah, that's what I do. I love my looting. Can't stop looting. Um what? Oh, you're un you're underground. Really? Canned food down here? I find it hard to believe. Feeble stick. Nah, I don't want that. Oh, how about that? That was it. 
<laughs> I mean, it seems like a really weird place to have all the canned food, like in a restroom. Under the bungalow area. Oh, engine parts. Yeah, that's the big money item right there, large nail. You probably use that for some mods down the line. I mean, it's a really weird place to have food. Can't. Maybe somebody like like saw the zombie apocalypse happening. They grabbed the food and were like, "All right, well, I'm gonna hang out in here in the bathroom." Which, in a way, when you think about it, it's not a bad idea if you're trying to hide out. I mean, think about it. You have running water. You have a restroom in case you have to poop. You could, you know, poop and flush it away. You don't have to worry about like hiding like in a closet room and having to poop. And then, you know, what are you gonna do in a classroom if you have like to poop? You gotta poop there. And what happens then when well, you start stinking it up? So if you're in a restroom, at least you could flush it away. You got running water. I think that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I think now I understand why the canned food was there. That's actually fairly impressive. I never ever considered once in my life hiding out in a restroom in a zombie apocalypse, but I think that's a bad idea. Plus you got toilet paper too. Can you imagine that? Yo, man. You got it going on. That dude was a bright guy, whoever he was. I mean, he was probably one of those dead corpses that we saw there, so he wasn't able to make it, but he had a good idea. Wasn't able to execute it, but the idea was probably there. All right, seen him while I got the food, man. What you got for me? That's all there was? Oh, bloody hell, that won't do. We need to find more. But you're the one who asked for three cans of food. Got a disabling baseball bat, too. Cool. Alrighty, guys, well, I believe we're out of time for this one here. I'm pretty sure that happened because we have to do a couple more missions, too, before we go. So, I'm gonna wrap it up here. We have done a lot of the main quests, though, luckily, so that's cool. Now we gotta probably help a couple of dudes here and there. We more than likely have to go back to the light tower and help the people out there to progress the story. So that's what we'll do next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. I will catch you then.